4, January 1, 2012, I'm going to take the same circuit with a couple of slight modifications that I've shown in the last couple of videos. And what I want to show you here is here's my same exciter, the same L3, the same 12 LEDs. This is a little different board, but you can see that it's got the, the AV plug on the back off the L3. Because I'm letting the voltage climb higher on the output of the exciter, I no longer need that piece of aluminum heat sink to couple it back into the input. We have enough spatial signal that that's no longer required. So we have enough in signal in this area coming back from this high potential over here, which had the little uh, neon on it before. We now have a large one. I'll show you that in more detail. Same setup on the output, the L3, the AV plug. And now what I've taken is I've removed this little neon that I had on here before on the end of the AV plug, and I've replaced it with one of these large 125 volt uh, runs off the mains AC type flicker light. I think we've uh, seen this a number of times. We've had the flicker light included in some of the demos. And here again I have my aluminum block uh, coupling from a generator. And let me show you, let me slip this in here again to show you that this guy is not <laughs> we'll get it over there is not uh, in any way connected to this block over here but what is driving this flicker light is indeed that little AV plug with the 1N4148s in, in it and what I want to show you here is that I'm not driving this and I'll try to at least try to demonstrate to you that there's nothing uh, hokey being done here to to get this to operate. I'm going to take this neon that I used before if I can get a decent hold on it and I've got my fingers on one side of it as you can see and I'm going to touch it to the block and you see it doesn't light. I'm going to also touch it to this block over here and you see it doesn't light and it also is not killing the flicker light. Do you see that? If I touch it here, it kills the flicker light, but still does not light. Okay, so there's no high voltage here, no high voltage here, but we have it off of the AV plug, and uh, the blocks aren't touching again. So what happens is as you improve and move further close to the entire PSEC, what you'll find is that the input requirement becomes less and less and less as you allow the output to climb higher and higher, meaning a higher impedance. And when that happens, then it's not as finicky as far as the feedback into the power rail. And you see those are fairly bright. I mean, for 12 LEDs, that's quite a bit of energy coming out of there. And of course this flicker light, we, we know we have a couple, at least a hundred and some volts there for that to be ionized. And obviously it's not the whole thing. We're not trying to accomplish that. I just wanted to show you that we can keep raising that voltage when we do the field around the exciter raises. And it becomes easier and easier to get the feedback necessary to drive itself. And this becomes less and less. And to show you what happens here, if I touch this side, the generator side, do you see that? It didn't stop it. If I touch this side, it stops it. But the reason for that is in order to support this, I've got a wire off of this side of the bulb right there, and I've got it taped to that aluminum. Now, the only reason I've done that is to support it. It has no effect on the operation. But here you can see that Unless I really get close to it, I can touch the tip and everything. But unless I get into this area and modify the capacity considerably, it doesn't do anything. And also, you can look over here. When I do kill this, it hasn't affected that. Okay, so anyway, that's just another continuation. Getting close to tearing this particular 
configuration down and uh, I wanted to show the last last demonstration with it with the removal of that piece of aluminum.